Hello, I'm Pia Renada. Welcome to Rappler Talk. Today, we are sitting down with Cagayan Governor Manuel Mamba, who is seeking his last and third term as Cagayan Governor. And we're here to talk about elections, both local and national, and also other issues plaguing, um, surrounding Cagayan, his province. So thank you so much, Governor Mamba, for, for joining us today. Well, uh, thank you so much too, Pia, for uh, spending time with me today. First, we want to dive into local elections. You are currently seeking your last term as governor. You are running against uh, another candidate. You're just two in the race. So uh, many residents of Cagayan, of uh, the North, would want to ask, why should they vote you for a last term? What is it that you want to accomplish in your last term if you win? Well, when I came in on my first term, no, it, was really, it was really hard. No? I was just a congressman in one district, and there are three districts in the province. And I have a, a development agenda for nine years. It's called Kaganda 2025. Mm -hmm. and, and I started this, and some of these were finished. Some are in the, in the works, and some are really need, no? Uh, they need pushing in the next last three years. And this one will be centered more on opening our province to the rest of the world. Because we're not connected to the rest of the world. No? Our only port, the port of Apari, is closed. There's no traffic. And we do not even have an international airport in Cagayan. So we do not enjoy foreign tourism. No, We only have the domestic tourism. And we don't enjoy uh, having our products sold to other countries in the world. And we're closest to China. And we, as we all know, Northeast Asia now is the economic uh, boom in the world. With China, with of course Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan. And we're closest to them. No? We are the tropical country no, so tourism is not impossible for us, mm. and we we harvest three or four times a day, a week, a year. Mm. So we could also provide the food that they lack, especially China. Mm. Okay. Throughout your term, we have seen you champion the rehabilitation of Apari Port. It's one of your major uh, issues, advocacies, but uh, it's also one of the things being thrown at you, right? Like. At, Accusations also that the dredging that is supposed to make that port possible is uh, getting in the way of environmental uh, conservation and fisheries livelihood. So can you just explain how do you balance those interests? Like, do you well, address the concerns well, of those? Well, uh, dredging fishermen? in Cagayan became so unpopular because when they did it for the first time during Enrile's time and protected by Enrile too, they were doing black sand mining, not dredging. So that when I started dredging, they blamed me that I will go into black sand mining. And so I told the people that I will resign as governor if they could prove that I am doing black sand mining. This is purely dredging because we have to dredge our Clug River, which is our canal. Uh, uh, that has to be cleaned. And uh, we're doing this now. No? And we have seen in the archives no, of our museum that in 1901, the American government already were recommending the dredging of our rivers. Mm. No, dredging is a maintenance work for rivers all over the world, which was never done in our country. That is why we have to do this, because now we, uh, we suffer from so much flooding. And the only port that we had, our connection to the world, was closed about 30 years ago. Mm because of the siltation of our Cagayan River. Remember this, no? We have three, uh, the big three were with us here. Eso, Caltex, and Shell. They were all with us here, no? We are providing the uh, fuel needs of the entire northern resort. Now it's gone because the tankers could not enter the mouth of the river. Mm -hmm. And so our connection to the world is gone. Now that our no? that our neighbors are becoming the economic tigers of not only Asia, but the world, especially China. 
I think it's now time to open up also. Just like what China did in the 1980s uh, under Deng Xiaoping. And I think uh, this will define the future of our province. What do you do then, though, about yung concerns ng fishermen and even the Apari town mayor about uh, lessening uh, fish well, stocks there? Well, How the do you ta- address that concern? Well, the Apari town mayor was with me. No? He won under me uh, during the last election. No? I was a very popular governor. I did a lot of innovations. I did a lot of bringing down uh, resources of the provincial government to the barangays, and they won. And yet, he doesn't agree with me because I think uh, some some of uh, those who are also interested, they think that there's so much money in dredging that I'm making money out of it. Hindi nila alam na ito dredging na ito is done for free. No? Uh, kaya ka, in fact, I was the one who started the dredging here. And then, nakialam ang national government. Ginawa nila restoration of the river. Because according to them, dredging is under the auspices of the DPWH. And that for me, quarrying yung akin. And that the, and that the DPWH prepares the program of work na dredging. Sabi nila, o sige, sabi ko, let's do it. Let's rename it restoration of the Cagayan mm-hmm. River. But no, so, nga, umaari kasi yung fishermen eh. So, how do you take care of them naman? Well, we did begin namin sila na live no? How many have you helped? Well, ang kwa kasi tayo na dito, no? Uh, it's a ho- parang hall of nation, ka multi-agency. We're talking with BIFAR, we're talking with DONE, we're also talking with uh, DTI, no? Para lahat kami tumutulong, not just me. Because I am the proponent here. But the one doing all of these things now under the river restoration is DENR, EMB, MGB, DPWH, and the proponent, which is the province of Cagayan. So, ang dami nila nakukuha. No? Sa so, na tulong coming from the national government and us. No? It's just a matter of sino ba dapat ang tulungan. Mm. Dahil everybody nakikikuan, hindi naman dun nila kinukuha. That's why we have to focus kung sino yung matutulungan talaga. Ang dami namin din binigay dyan, no? Ng mga boats, no? Mm, bakit hindi sila? Kasi diba, sa... fish, the sea is very big. So even if you're dredging in one small part, it's affecting the entire uh, no, that, sea. No, no, no. Yes. No, Ganun no. po yung ecosystems. That's no, how ecosystems no. work. That is, that is not true. Because it's so huge. The mouth of the river is only about 1.5 to 2 kilometers wide. Yun lang yung i-dredge namin, yung mouth of the river. Papunta dito. So you only have those who live in the mouth of the river? Yan yeah, but oh, but the mouth of the river, hindi sila doon nagkupa, kumukuha, doon sila sa labas. Okay. Hindi sila kumukuha, not the mouth of the river. Kasi yeah. yung mouth of the river, hanggang dito na lang. Hmm. Wala, wala na. Talagang nag-cross down traffic dyan because of that. So, alam mo, kung minsan, nagpapa, nagpapakwad sila, because they want to stop it, but they stop it for the wrong reason. No, they want to be part of it. Today, na kami dito. Na anti illegal logging, anti dredging, anti black sand mining. Pero look at the people na naga anti. No, usually the leftists. And but what's wrong with that? I mean, does that mean that their views are no, no longer? No. Ang sinasabi ko is they ask for money too. They ask you for money. Yes. Can you name people who actually yeah. ask you for money? Yeah. Sige nga, sir. <laughs> Can you name them? Sina Buting. Yung Bo- bagong nakuha lang. Buting? Si, what? Si Buting. Yun po yung pangalan niya? Isabelo. Isabelo. Ba- bago lang nakuha siya. Bago lang na-aresto. Isabelo Buting? Yeah. Isabelo something. I don't know the... <laughs> Basta, what yan? Mga kinatatakutan yan dito sa amin. Yung mga regional directors. Pag-aantay-antay sila, tapos they get part. Anti-illegal lagging, anti... Alam mo dito, there's a quid pro quo of politicians, regional directors of the left, and the government. Mm. Uh, yun yung nilalabanan ko po. Na hindi na pwede yun. Let us show them na ang gobyerno natin malakas. Hindi nagsusurrender sa mga ganyan. Sa totoo lang po, no? Uh, no? If you stay here, no? pakikita mo yung real situation dito sa amin. Mm. 
Mm. Yung mga yan noon, no? lalo na nung kinuha sila ng, ng ating presidente to become cabinet members, sila tigawalo, eh, ang nagbibigay na ng mga DSWD food packs doon dito, yung mga anak pawis na, eh, bayan muna na, eh. hindi na yung mga tigagobyerno. Sa totoo lang, that is what happened here. No, kung sana, tignan din sana nila, no, yung four piece, no, yung four piece, pangalan lang yung iba doon, walang tao, nung panahon ni Tagiwalo. Mm, nakita niyo po yan for yourself? Yes. Of the 40,000 na ako dito, 12,000 ang pangalan lang. Nung panahon ni Tagiwalo, sa totoo lang, that's why I reported uh, I reported this to the president together with the police and the, and the army. Gumawa kami ng report na yung mga pera na ng mga, kwan, ng mga agencies na to napupunta na somewhere else. O nung, nung melawin kami mo, ompong kami, no, ang mga mayors, barangay captains, pupunta sa akin. Nagre-reklamo. Ang nagbibigay ng mga DSWD packs. Okay, we have to ask uh, Judy Tagiwala for her side of that claim. But yes. moving on, uh, Governor, kasi may isa pang allegation yung Kaya mga yung mga antay-antay. Ang na... sinasabi ko, yung nag-aantay-antay, pera. Hmm. Pero just on Akala the... nila, pwede pa yung... On ganun. the dredging further, no? Kasi some of the people, oh. the groups here are saying, are claiming that the dredging is just a cover for black sand mining. And I know that you've addressed this. You've said na I'm, I'm you will resign if there's black I'm sand mining. I'm telling them na, Pia, bak re-resign ako. Oh, sir, sinabi Kukos na nila, babariling ko pa itong sarili ko. Pero ako ang follow-up question. Kasi dun Kasi sa... Kasi it's so unfair na ng, bato sila ng bato ng ganun. They could not prove it. That's why I would like to ask you some more oh. questions so that you can really defend yes, yourself. But yes. it's no, more of a sense that... Sinasaya Let the na- people decide. Okay. I am now under the judgment of our people. If I win this election, then I'm the one telling the truth. Okay. Di ba? Because the boats, Kasi, you, you na- acknowledge, sir, oh. that the boats actually do bring sand into the sea. And uh, sinasabi po boats? ng government, What's some that? ships do yes. bring sand out into the sea. And the co- contract does say that they're supposed to do that. They're supposed to bring the sand uh, beyond Philippine uh, jurisdiction, di ba? Nasa, nasa yes. contract daw yun. Yes. But uh, how are you so sure, sir, that that isn't black sand that they're taking and well, that they're not bringing alam, alam it to nyo, China? Alam nyo, ganito po kasi yan. Okay. Ang black sand mining, ipoprocess mo. Kukunin mo yung black sand. Mm-hmm. Kahit saan ka pupunta dyan, kung may black sand makukuha mo, it's for the MGB to do an assay for that. And it's for them to pay what has to be paid. Kung may commercial value na yan, that is seven, I think it's 7% and above, yun, mabayad ka talaga na excise tax because uh, may mga minas doon. Oh, pero pero the ang point namin doon, there the will be no processing. They have to bring it all out to uh, lahat. Now, but bago it, lumabas yan, oh. inaasay ng MGB. To check if may black sand. Yeah. Kung may black sand, babayaran nila excise tax nila doon. Uh, so, Sabi ko, kung kunin niyo yung black sand, somewhere else, not in Cagayan. You do it somewhere else, not in Cagayan. Because sa akin, kunin lahat. Because what is most important sa akin is to dredge the river. So Why? So... Because I need to open my port. I need na maibsan yung aming flooding. That's it. No? And then, they have to pay yung quarry fees. So they do that? They yes. pay the parties? Uh, we have uh, lahat, lahat. So sir, how sure are you that M- the MGB does that? Uh, uh, well, that's MGB's well, work. That's not my work. But are you concerned means na baka they are able to get away with taking black sand? Like maybe been a bribe oh, well, nila? I mean, is that something you want nila. to make sure doesn't happen? Hindi ko kaya yun. No, we have our multi, dun, eh, multi-agency na lang doon. Eh. Kasi ang binabantayan ko is how, kung kano karami. Mm. No, kagano karami yung kukunin nila, nila, babayaran nila sa akin yan per cubic meter. Mm. Now, yung essay naman ng Black Sand, it's MGB's work. I see. I'm sure, I'm sure, hindi naman sila papayag na naglulukohan doon. I'm sure MGB should do something about that also. So, and, but, if, and if and when, hindi ko, kasi ang mga kolekta doon, ang mga kolekta rin, ang BIR. Mm. So, BIR should also be there. Are diba? they there? BIR. Are they there also? I, I, I think so. Siguro, lagod sila. So, pero clear, sir, na dun sa contract with the ships um, that they're not supposed to be getting black sand. No, no, no. They, they could get the black sand. They don't. They should not process it here. Ah, hindi so mo, kasi being... kung hindi mo kukunin yung black sand, ikukunin mo lang yung... You have to process. You separate the black sand from from the, the plain sand. Diba? Isn't it possible, sir, Ka- kasi that they can process kasi, it at sea? Kasi ang mining... 
Well, tignan mo ito, no? A dredging or quarry, you don't process it. Mm. Ang mining you process it, parang gold mine din yan. Anything. No, you get it from, maliliit yan eh. So, you process it. That's why you have to separate it. They use magnet. So, eh, tignan nila yung mga, kung natin, ship natin, walang magnet na separator yun eh. They call it separator. So, sure po kayo na hindi black sand yung dinadala sa labas ng Pilipinas ng mga ships oh, na ito? Meron black sand, pero uh, commercial quantity ba? That's for MGB to... to so, what do, they, what do these ships do with that sand when they're out there in the... In the in they the use sea? it for construction. They use it for... Uh, uh, Pag-fill up ng mga... Doon sa China or sa ibang... Yeah. Where do they use... You know, you know, there's a crisis now of construction sand in the world. Kulang sila, especially the developed countries. Ang construction sand kasi galing sa river sand. Hindi pwede yung galing sa desert. Mm. Hindi rin pwede yung galing sa salty, sa salty water. Kaya kami, that's our gold mine. Pero sobra-sobra. Tanggalin mo na namin para ma-open namin yung puerto namin. Para yung kanal namin ay makiklear. And then later on, baka mamahalin din namin yan. Pag, eh, we make it much, much higher yung bayaran nila. Mm. Kasi ang, ang importante sa amin ngayon, you know, yung Buntun Bridge, no? yung baba ng Buntun Bridge ngayon, nag sila doon. One million cubic meters yung tinanggal nila. Hindi nga nila alam kung saan ilalagay. Kinalat-kalat lang sa Tugay Grau. Mm. No? You know how much the BPWH uh, spent for that? One million cubic meters, 1.1 billion. Mm. So, so no, the no, ships... Ito ang tatagaling namin for the first... 8.5 kilometers is 76 million cubic meters. Where will I get 76 billion? So they actually that? pay that to the government for the sand that they drench? Yes. Yes. They even pay it sa amin kasi quarry amin yun eh. Would you have a ballpark figure of how much you have made as a, as a provincial government? From I'm not sure. I'm not operation? sure. Pero lahat yan. Basta nilalabas nila. Bago nila mailabas, bayad sila sa amin. Mm. They pay something like I think it's 70 pesos per cubic meter. Mm, okay. All right. Sir, moving on to other issues in your province. You've been called China-friendly. Can we just get uh, an idea from you of how much your province has benefited from China? Whether it's investments or tourism? Well, or not at this point in time, but they're so much interested sa amin. That's why they want to go on a build-operate transfer scheme for our... for our... Uh, dito for our uh, international airport and international seaport. Build, mm. operate, and transfer. That's mm. why what I did was to buy 300 hectares of land in Piat para dun sa international airport namin. And okay. then we are also intending to buy again because they could not own the land, no? Mga foreigners, it depends on own. So parang joint venture and then build, operate, and transfer. Uh, dun naman sa puerto, ganun din. They are so much interested of us, no? Because they are interested of the food that we could produce. Because we are an agricultural country, agricultural province, and we are so near them. The food of China comes from Brazil, Argentina, the United States of America. You all know that. And we could provide that too, at least a portion of that. So, makikita mo, no? Negosyo din sa kanila ito food security rin sa kanila. Eh, sa amin dito, Pia, wala kami nabebenta sa Manila. Rice and corn lang, rice and corn lang. Yung mga prutas namin dito, yung gulay namin, yung, yung mga livestock namin, wala man lang may ibenta sa Manila dahil ang lalapit ng Bulacan at lahat. Saka, ang Manila is 15 million lang sila. Mm. Eh, yung China, 1.3 billion. <laughs> Alam pong Chinese firms yung nag-bidding ba to? How they were chosen to participate in the build, operate, transfer? No, that is where we are going. Kaya nga, pinipreper namin. Wala, wala, pa, ah, wala pa. We are now We are now preparing a MOA ah. no, para magkasainan. Kaya nga, I need a I need a uh, friendly sa ganyang panlalawigan and friendly vice governor. So, vice governor ko, tsaka sa ganyang palalawigan ko, hindi ko mga kasama. Yung, yung sinasabi niyo pong build, operate, transfer, so you plan to sign that MOA in your last term, not in this current term? Tama well, hopefully, no, we could do that lahat dyan. Kasi yun na yung last na gagawin namin eh. 
Pero open. during your current term? I have, uh, yeah. During your current term? Or you'll wait if you win? I, I have to win way? this election ah. to do that. No, kasi wala na, hindi na, hindi na pwede. Sino pong kausap niyo dun oh. sa build, operate, transfer projects for the port May and mga, the airport? Ito, magtataka China ka. China po ba yung Chinese ito, government? Ito, sabihin ko sa'yo, magtataka ka. Sa lahat ngayon, sa Silk and Belt Road Initiative nila, no? BRI. Yes. They are all talking to heads of nations. Loan. Loan. Mm. Dito sa Pilipinas, ang kinakausap nila, hindi head ng nasyon. Why? Bakit Governor Mamba, hindi loan investment? Why? Hindi yung diretsyo yung mga Chinese. It's the Malaysians partnered with China Railway. Ah, they're talking to Why? you about that yes. Malaysia-China yung firm? Na... I don't know. It's, it's the Malaysians coming over. Ang kapartner nila is China Railway. Mm, to, to build the airport and yes. seaport. Mm, yes. Okay. So look at that. Okay. Look at that. No? So may diplomatic pa nito. No? Ako, ako nagtataka rin. No, because really, I'm reading a lot of books about China now mm. because they are our neighbors. And I can see yung, kita mo naman, yumaman na lahat dito sa ASEAN, yumaman na yung Northeast Asia, tayo na lang yung mahirap. Now, we are in the middle of all these people. Now, of all these countries, bakit wala tayong chance na yumaman? Diba? So, ano, ba, you... ano, ba, ano ba wala sa atin? Mm. We used to be the second Richest country in Asia next only to Japan. Now, where are we? Now, I... Hindi ako pwede makiki... Bakit ako makikipagkaibigan sa so wala naman lang ako pakinabang? Mm. Uh, pero kasi many are pointing out na yung mga BRI projects ng China, it might be a way for them to uh, impose their interest on the beneficiary country the way, for example, Indonesia had to cancel... So. How do you, but how do you safeguard against possible national security concerns with these projects? I don't think so. Why? Okay. Look at this. Pumasok ang Espanyol dito sa atin. Nakaarabas sila, di ba? With their spears, with their cannons, with everything, di ba? Right? Pumasok yung kwan sa atin. Yung Amerikano sa atin. Ganun din. Mm. Naka-bayonet ah, naka din sila. Naka-Thompson din sila. Lang. Pumasok yung hapon sa atin, di ba? Naka, ah? Yung pumasok yung Chinese sa atin. Ano sila? They were traders. They were business people. No yeah, now, Chinese invasion sa atin. Never. Were, oh, uh, it was just people coming in. They want to... Want, I don't think they will ever hurt us. I don't think. Of course, sinabi ko pa sa mga Amerikano, pumunta yung State Department sa akin. Kasi nababalisa sila sa ginagawa ko. Sabi ko sa kalina, nobody can stop China in securing the lanes. Nobody, you not even that. the United States of America, to secure the sea lanes. Why? It is a matter of survival. Why? Mamamatay sila kung ma-stop mo yan. Diyan nagagaling ang pagkain nila. Hindi aanda lang kanilang mga paktorya kung stop mo yan. Diyan nagagaling ang fuel nila. Like, Papayag ba sila na ma-stop oh, yan kahit na Amerikano, kahit na sino? Pero dun sa it's a matter sir, of na, life and death. It's a matter of survival. Yung MOA, for example, you're entering with for the airport course, and the seaport. Uh, that How, will be ours. Will, will you show, for example, the National Security Council the terms of that contract just to make sure na walang national security issues na conflict or danger? Uh, eh, kung, kung commercial seaport ang papagawa mo, meron bang security? Possible. Okay. Kasi they could, they could say na sa gagamitin ng Chinese ships yun, for example, to secure their own ships um, when oh, well, they, they launch they, attacks on whichever You cannot part. stop them in securing the ships. Kahit so you, you will welcome these Chinese ships? Yung ka, kinuha na ka nila eh. Sa Pakistan, meron sila all over. So gusto niyo pahayaan lang na mangyari? Uh, wala. As a tingin ko kasi, they have to secure it. Who they'll the, but go, that's, that's Philippine they'll territory. They'll not go after Palawa, they'll not go after uh, Cagayan. They are just securing the lanes for themselves to be used for themselves because they could not survive without securing the lanes. Won't Hindi that, ako but pa, wala, that, akong kinata, that, wala akong kinakausap na pa, pero let us be truthful to ourselves. Pero won't that violate Philippine rights? Wala yan. Yo, dito sa amin, dito sa amin, sa totoo lang, kahit na pag-aari mo kung inagaw na isang congressman, wala ka makagawa. Dahil, eh, sa totoo lang, that's the reality on the ground. Ganun din sa atin. 
kahit na ilang korte ang magsasabing atin yan, kung hindi natin ma-impose, hindi natin ma-enforce, yung korte hindi niya ma-enforce, wala pa rin magayari dyan. So what's the reality on the ground? Ako, I'm just realistic. I don't want to be dreaming about all of these things. But aren't you also at the same time giving up giving up on Philippine rights? I mean, aren't you in the same time at the same time giving up on Philippine interests? Sabi ko nga sa iyo eh kahit dito nga sa atin eh kahit sa iyo eh kahit asawa mo nga ay pupunin nila eh. Papayag kayo doon? Ganun na buhay eh. Kung pinakuha nila yung asawa mo, yung big time bang papakuha, can you resist? Governor, how about Fuga Island? Kasi naging controversial rin yung Fuga Island and the Chinese investments well, that were supposed to take well, place Fuga there. Well, Fuga Island, that's the worst part in this world to live. Are that's there any, the worst. Are there Why? any plans for that? Sabi kasi nila, it's a private property, including the ocean, including the mountain, including the... It's the worst. Kaya sabi ko sa military, kunin nyo na yan, inyo na. Kunin nyo din sa may-ari. Dahil pinapaalis na yung mga tao na dinatlan nila doon noon pa. Yun lang pa. They could not own a piece of land. They could not plant anything they want. They could not even bring your, a motorcycle doon noon. Yan ang Fuga Island. So, ano ba sino ba may-ari niyan? Hmm. Dapat i-expose natin kung sino may-ari. So hindi niyo po alam? Kayo mga rappler. Kayo dapat magpat. You're the governor of this province. Yeah. You don't know who owns that Ako island. po si Serapi ka. Tapos sasabihin niya sa'yo, kausapin si GMA, eh sino may ari? So wala pong may alam, kahit kayo hindi si niya alam? Si Serapi ka magsasabi na, na alin, uh, ano yun, ano yun? Uh, anong paralam nun? Uh, meron, merong isang corporation eh. Pero yung si Serapi ka kausap ko. Alam mo ba, when I became governor, humihingi ako ng one hectare lang dyan, hmm. pang high school. One hectare of 11,000 hectares or 10,000 hectares hindi nila maibigay for high school. Kaya sabi ko, hindi tao ito. Then he was telling me na kumukonti na yung tao. Anong kumukonti? And then, sabi niya, bibigyan daw sila ng 50,000 para umalis na lahat doon. Ay, walang hiya ito, sabi ko. Are you gonna take pains to investigate sino pa yung may-ari ng island? Yung, sino yung may control ng island? Dapat yung mga yan, pinapata yung mga may-ari. Pero will you take pains to investigate who owns or is controlling that island? Well, I talked to a lot of, uh, of media people para investigate yan. Pero wala po ba sa provincial wala. government yung records, for example, of a sale of that island or Asos, something ako, like Napakalaking that? tao, mga kalaba mo dyan. I need the media, I need all of you to be at my back. So you don't have I, any inkling? So uh, clue, parang corporation, is it a Chinese corporation? Is it a Philippine no, corporation? No. It's a Filipino, siyempre. Mm, okay. So may plans ba big, for that big, island? Big, big, big Filipinos. Meron po bang plans for that island that you've noticed or you've observed na... Basta sa akin, no. They could not just do what they want. There are people there. There are about 2,000 na tao doon. Kung kailangan arbasan sila, aarbasan ko yung mga yan para labanan, para ipaglaban. Nang call kami para i-cover ng agrarian reform yan. O yun, natutulog pa sa dar. Wala naman nangyari. Just like what the president did to Boracay, di ba? O di na-cover nila yung pa. E dyan, wala. Hindi sila allowed na mag-plant ng mais. Hindi sila mag-plant ng mag-plant ng corn. Mm. Alam mo, Pia, multifaceted ang problema namin dito. Mm. There's so much problem that has to be untangled dito mm. sa amin. Kaya so, hindi ako pwede mag-focus sa isang problema. Grabe ang problema namin dito. If you run for an officer, you don't only talk to people, you also talk to the military, you also all talk to the, to the NPA for your security. Ganun mm. dito. So, Kaya sana it, maintindihan nyo why we talk this way, maintindihan nyo why, ha? Kasi ang hirap. Akala nyo siguro, tinataya namin yung buhay namin araw-araw dito. Just to, uh, just to help leaders na kahit na paano nagpa-plano para sa amin. Okay. Okay. Last question lang po dun on local elections. No? Kasi sir, yung, I mean local issues, yung sinasabing mga nag-dredge na companies, is one of them is Great River North Consortium. Um, is it true sir na yung manager nun ay ang Santa Tomas Isabella Mayor? And isn't that a conflict no, of interest? No, no. Basta, alam mo ang nangyari dyan, ganito. No, I was talking with two. Initially two. No, may start namin yung dredging na. Tapos nakialam nga yung DNR at lahat. Sabi nila, river restoration. Sige, sabi nila. And then, ang dami na kiusap na mag, uh, mag, sa, mag fat. Bata ni ganito, bata ni ganyan, bata ni ganito. Alam mo, sa totoo lang, 
iisa ngayon ang nagre-dredge niya. Because the dredging vessels are controlled by China. Nobody could produce a dredging vessel except that one, iisa. Look at that. No, kaya, how can you dictate on these people? How can you dictate on China? Alam mo pa sabi nung, nung Chinese sa akin, ako na lang lahat, ako nang bahala sa kanya. Sabi. Ako nang bahala lahat sa kanila, akin na lang lahat ako nang gagawa lang. Sabi ko, hindi, I want competition because you might dictate on me. Mm. I want some form of competition because baka mamaya, diktahan mo ako, hindi ka lang magbayad at lahat. Sabi ko. Hindi, sige, okay, sabi siya. Ngayon, nag-iisa siya. Walang mga produksyon iba. Look at that. That's, that's what's happening on the ground. So you're saying kahit may bidding, siya lang naman may capability. So, hindi, makipag-bidding yung iba. Kaso, oh. uh, ibebenta yata nila yung mga rights nila. Dun sa itong Siguro, nanalo? Siguro, I don't know. Kung bakit sila ko, eh mga secretaries, undersecretaries, kung sino-sino ba kakausap ko na, mm. na, na nagpupus. Ganun, ganun dito sa Pilipinas eh. Hmm. Okay. Sir, uh, going to national elections, kasi you support um, Marcos since national nationalista party po kayo and you decided to go with the national yes. party choice. So, you're also from the north. We know that, you know, this is a province dominated by Marcos supporters. So, what does a Marcos presidency mean to you and to your province kung sakali mangyari siya? Well, observahan ko. No, kung uh, ano mga gawa ni Bongbo. Kung mag-presidente siya, I think, uh, sigurado na siya. Observahan ko. Because, nandun din ako sa EDSA eh. Mm. No? Nandun din ako sa EDSA. So, Kaya, what does it mean na you've tried to fight a dictatorship and then right now you're allied with the dictator son? Well, I, I don't want to lay the blame on Bongbo sa mga ginawa ng tatay niya. And he will always be there also to protect the legacy of his father kung meron man. How about no, yung tra- I, I had a mm-hmm. taste of the martial law also. I had a taste of what happened when the declaration of martial law happened. No, so, kung makikita mo, maganda naman kasi nung una. Sa totoo lang, no? And then, may abuse na nung tumagal. No? And then, nung nagkakasakit na siya, there was intramurals. He lost control of the bureaucracy. He lost control of his people. Mm-hmm. That's what happened to Marcos. Kaya nga, it should be a lesson. Let's have Bongbo. Ito natin for the next six years. I hope he learned from the sufferings and the demonizing, no, of their family. Mm. In I what, hope. In what sense do you hope that? Like, what could, he, what should he do? Well, if he suffered so much from anything that you did, ah, eh, siguro matututo ka. Suffering is the best teacher, you know, Pia. So, <laughs> how would he prove that he learned a lesson? I don't know. Like, anong, I don't know. What do you expect of him I, well, as president? Sa, Anong expectation mo sa kanya kung manalo siya? Well, learning from from the mistakes. In what sense? Um, how will he? Ha, I hope he will, he will not uh, project himself as a dictator again and extend himself after six years. Una, una, I don't believe he can do that or he will do that. No. Why not? Why don't you believe? Na, Why don't you believe he will be a dictator? Or? Well, hindi ba naman yung yari sa kanila? Di ba? Well, Ibig mo sabihin, uulitin. Napakatlaka naman nila kung uulitin nila yun. Di para silang GMA. Di ba? Natagal na nga sa huweteng si... Di ba? Natagal na nga si huweteng si, si Estrada. Nagpahuweteng din siya. Di ba? O, ano nangyari sa kanya? He was so, she was so unpopular during the last years of, mm. of her presidency. Di ba? What, what, so, all of this, no? should be a lesson to all of us, to all the Filipinos, no? na yung pagkakamali in the past, you will learn from it para mapaganda naman natin ito. Sino ba ang satisfied sa nangyayari sa Pilipinas? Lahat tayo dissatisfied. Yung mga nagpapakasasala, yung mga korap lang ang satisfied dahil if you bring them to court, wala rin naman nangyayari at lahat. So, uh, sa totoo lang, no? What do you have to say about the track record of Bongbong Marcos, especially as a local government official? Kasi diba nag-governor siya, vice-governor? Well, I'm not impressed. Why? Eh, mas magaling ako sa kanya <laughs> But ano, ano po ba yung nagawa niya or hindi nagawa that led to that assessment? Breaking down. Sa no barangay left behind. All the funds nasa baba. 
no? Empowering my people by organizing every purok, 5,740 5, puroks, mm -hmm. no organized like that. See, I, have the, I, have, I have the Pope, what's that Pope? Provincial Office for People Empowerment. Para yung tao may boses. O ako, nakaka-text ng tao ko. Lahat, any time of the day, tinetext nila ako. Sa totoo lang. How was Marcos so, as a governor? And now I am number five. But, I am the fifth, ano yun? Ako dito? Performing. Best performing governor. I, I didn't apply for that. I didn't even know about that. I was not, I'm not aware of anything. I, hindi, hindi yun ang pang ko. Hindi yun ang iniisip ko. Iniisip ko yung makagawa ko sa kagayan. Hmm. O, oh, and yet, di ba? So, ang, ang feeling ko is, there are there's there's a lot more na pwede niyang gawin when he was governor mm -hmm. and he is a, he is a Marcos. So ako obserbahan ko siya kung paano siya ngayon. Mm. Uh, ano po ba yung how would you describe his gubernatorial term? Why are you not impressed by it? Si sa noon? Oh, si Marcos. Kasama ko rin si Bongbong kasi kahit sa Congress eh. At kasama ko rin siya. I've seen him work, I've seen him plan. No, kaya ka, there should be more coming from him now. Alam mo, if you surround yourself with good people, you could be better also. No, uh, honest, people who love this country, people who fear God, people who has plans for this country. Who does Marcos surround himself with? Well, tindan natin kung ano mangyayari. Ah, so hindi niyo po alam? Ako, uh, uh, na-involved ako sa, uh, sa, sa national politics sa totoo mm. lang nung nandiyan si Noy. And very minimal dahil I'm not part of the inner circle nila Mar at Telequat. We have falling, I have a falling out with uh, Mar also. Mm. I see. Uh, pero at the same time, sir, even if we're 10 days away from elections, meron ding nakita ko dito sa province nyo na posters ni Lenny Robredo, Isko Moreno, Ping Lakson, Manny Pacquiao. I mean, do you think that that has in any way, those candidacies, have they in any way caused a dent in the in the narrative of Solid North or not so much? Well, the Solid North should be nurtured again. Kung gusto nila. The Solid North, no? Alam mo kasi, very clannish kasi yung mga Ilocano at lahat, no? Tapos uh, marami rin natulungan dito sa amin. So, hindi mo rin matanggal yun. Pero... You could not say na it's the same solid north that they had then. Mm. Diba and how, how do you church, how do you cultivate that well, solid north ako again? Noon, yung kami noon, talagang KBL kami at lahat. And now, hindi eh. Diba? Kasi, siyempre, nag-start ka na rin mag-question. Bakit ganun? Mas bakit ganyan? So, we expect more from them now. Sir, you used to be Liberal Party. And in fact, in 2016, nagalit kayo kay Mar Rojas. Yes. Sabi mo pa nga, parang he will not get votes in your town yes. if he runs for senator. Yes. Um, do you feel the same way with Lenny or Bredo, given that they're from the same party? No. Lenny, okay si Lenny. Malayo si Lenny kay Mar. Si Mar, eh, bakla yan, wala yan. Si Lenny is decisive. Honest. Si Mar, hindi honest si. Eh. Yung mahindra niya, two, two million isa. Ah, yung, you mean yung, yung police DILG. cars? Yung oh. ah. Wala, gumawa lang ng pera yan, no, panahon ni Noy. So kung si Lenny Robredo po manalo in, on May 9, what do you see for your province? Suho. May, if Robredo wins on May 9, what do you see for your province? What do you expect of her? Well, I think she's honest. Pero alam mo kasi, ang, ang isa sa mga kwan na nila, naman nila, para bang lahat na lang masama. Sina na lang ang tama. No, dapat tanggalin nila yun. Alam mo, what, what attracted people most kay, 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 kay Marcos, mm -hmm. yung unity, he's talking of unity. And furthermore, he's not hitting anyone. So siguro, yun yung, yun yung nagbigay sa kanya ng, no? ng karisma as far as the people are concerned. Mm -hmm. Kasi kung ang pam mo is, ang hirap kasi dito sa atin, sa totoo lang. No, is a hodgepodge of uh, may mga ina-accept na, na corruption, may ina-accept na, na corrupt practices, at tulad yung bot buying, they find nothing wrong with it, kahit yung wetting, they find nothing wrong with it, or as long as the people like it, which is, I think, mali. No? Mali. That's why I am asking for a strong government. 
government who could enforce, government who could serve, government, kahit yung justice system natin. Problema talaga. Ang dami nating problema. Sir, balikan ko lang, sir, yung sinasabi niyong enforcement, no? Do you think that there should be oversight by the National Security Council or any security-based agency in the national government dun sa mga projects ni dito that might have an impact on national security like yun yung deals with china infrastructure deals with china do you agree with that na dapat may tumutulong sa inyo to check the terms of contracts or what not and what they, what can they do about china sure sa negotiation baka pwedeng sabihin <laughs> yeah, natin na take this out right sa take this point, provision sa, sa tingin mo hindi kami makikipag ganun sa china but don't you need the help of national? Kasi sila po yung diplomacy and sila yung national security, di ba? Sila yung may expertise doon. Hindi rin. Yung mga experts ko binsan, hindi expert. <laughs> Kaya hindi nila kinoconsider yung nasa baba eh. Pero you think that there's you no need for that? You don't learn that in school. You learn that doon sa mismong field. Well, but you don't think that there's a need for that oversight? Basta hindi injected with vested interest. Ah, okay. Kasi... Alam mo yung pumunta dito, development, development, tapos sila naman yung mag... Ay, sus! Kaya ma, paasar ka talaga dahil iba pala yung nasa utak nila. Mm. Oo, oh, totoo ito. Buti sana if they really love this country, who, who would best love our province? Dapat kami. Because we stay here, we will die here, we will raise our children here. Diba? So, who, who is at best yung Ewan po, no? Pero that's how I look at it. That's why, kung may paplano dito, kami na. Kung may consequences yung mga plano namin na masama sa amin, you will suffer the consequences. Pero kung maganda naman ang mangyayari, you will be the beneficiaries too. But if something bad happens for security, di ba dama yung buong bansa? Sa, yeah, oh. pero sino ba ang hindi titingin sa security niya? Di ba? Hindi, baka may blind spot kayo. Uh, well, that blind spot, eh. That's a risk that you take. Diba? There is always risk. When you're talking with a big man, there's always risk. Depende sa kanya yan eh. Kung minsan, gagalong ka lang na, wala ka lang magagawa eh. Diba? But you get to, uh, you try to get what is best for both of you. But of course, lamang na lamang siya eh. Malaki siya eh. No? Okay. Kahit na anong gawin mo, lamang siya. Sabi ko nga, yung nga sabi ko sa mga Amerikano, tatanong gawin nyo, isi-secure nila yan. Nobody could stop them because survival nila yan. Okay. Eh, you know, the Americans came to me, the State Department, political officer nila, yung uh, 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 economic attache nila, and then may tatlong military na mga colonels. Na pinoprobe ako kung may kausap pa ako ako Chinese sa uh, stand to ganun. This is my stand. This is our stand in the province and I sought the help of everyone All right. para maproteksyonan namin yung probinsya namin. At kami, sabi ko, pro-Kagayan. Hindi kami pro-China, pro-Kagayan kami. On that note, Governor, thank you so much for answering my questions and talking to us about Kagayan issues. Uh, best of luck sa inyo with your um, seeking your last term as Governor. Uh, and thank you for watching Rappler Talk. We will continue to be monitoring elections and, of course, interviewing candidates for crucial positions in our government. Uh, once again, I'm Pierre Nada, and see you next time. Goodbye.